Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing with this HP DL360 generation 6 and I messed up a um, lot of people said in the comments that well this server is has been set in low power mode in the BIOS and you should have seen that when the splash screen ran by and I didn't see that and it makes good sense because my good buddy Jim has probably been trying to make this server not use a lot of power that is so much like him so of course we need to to go into the bias and tell it not to do that so that we can get some accurate readings on that cpu performance which was really ridiculously low also i have some other projects that i want to try on it i really want to see if i can have the internal usb and sd card working on this at the same time and i want to try and put some non non hewlett packard hot drives in there see if um, well people say that it might still be noisy if you do that so we're gonna try and and tempt it see if we can push it a little bit there and then um, yeah let's get going i might have some other stuff that i want to try but um that we're gonna start with but there were a lot of suggestions that i should measure how much power this uses right now i have put power on the server but it's not powered up so um well this is actually pretty good so the ilu adapter in there is using like nine and a half watt oh, right there nine and a half watt we'll get back to this when the server is powered up okay this is impossible filming oh there's a little bit there uh i was hoping to find where it says that it's low running low power oh it's right here okay hewlett packard profile mode minimum power usage okay so the clock is down clock to 1.6 gigahertz okay we need to go and configure that i should have put this to default before i started that um that's kind of a good thing to do when you get a new server is default the bias i didn't do that i was stupid okay we're in the BIOS and in here we can go down to system default options and we should be able to restore default system settings check that warning blah 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 all configuration settings will be set to their default values yes that's the general idea restore and it shut up oh frightening and it's booting back up Okay, now it's uh, balancing uh, power and performance uh, better. And somehow it's, it want to check the RAM again. Uh, okay, it can do that. It's running a green progress bar down here. Hmm. This looks rather fun. Only uh, the first call is doing anything at all. All the rest is just, well, not even showing up. Um, I just run the speed test here. It came out with 4109, which I don't think is really very good. Uh, I am a bit confused why it's that bad. So I want to want to try and run it again, and I want to see if any of the other cores ever do anything. Yeah, that's, um, that looks a bit weird. So um, it, did, it did ever so slightly better. I think we need to reboot and see um, if that helps. Weird stuff is going on here. Now it's it's using about 11% of the CPU, but it's only, it's maxing out core number one. Everything else is doing diddly squad, core one is maxed out. I uh, think we might have to go and check out that BIOS again. Okay, now something is happening on all the cores, so I think we are good to try again. Okay, 7000, that's much closer to what uh, one could expect out of that CPU, so I think that's okay. Let's just do Cinebench while we're at it. Two of these CPUs should be able to do 1279, so let's see what one does.
way better just about half of 1200 just pretty close to half so i think we're good to go here it is being ever so slightly more noisy now that um, it's actually also um, using the processor for stuff so i want to put in the sd card and uh, the usb key to see if they will work at the same time so um, i really don't have many of these sd cards so i had to go and find my drone and uh, I steal the card from there. Let's just pop that in, and then just some rather uh, server 2019. Nah, do we have something that won't boot? Nah, some ESXi thing that we can see clearly if it's if it tries to boot that. It shouldn't. I don't even know. One of each. Okay. Oh, and I want to take out this, uh, I have a PCI card in here, I want to take that out now that I have it open anyway. I seem to have not closed this down, so... Um, but to do that, I will disconnect power. Just so that I don't forget it. Trying the CD-ROM, and we are... Booting windows. Okay. It looks pretty promising. We have a Lenovo ESXi. Let's check here. We have a C drive. Then we have an E drive. Uh, that's that's my uh, drone thing. So both of these are working at the same time. So that is cool. That question has been solved. It sees both of them at the same time. So awesome. And then I have just started Cinebench again, so that we can go and and check how much power this is. Oh, oh, so power is four. Oh, see. 180, 75, 80 watts. That's not too bad. Well, it only has one CPU, so okay. Uh, it is a lot of power compared to a a normal PC. And it is making a little bit more noise than before. Uh, it has completed up here. So this is hot pluggable um, hard drives. So I thought that we should just try and pop some in. This is uh, these are out of laptops. This one is a Toshiba, and this one is a I think it might yeah, and a Hitachi. So let's try the Hitachi first. It's 250 gigabytes. Let's see if we can hit the connections in there. That's not easy. Then we have a piece of cardboard. I will just lift it up enough. Are you gonna be noisy? Nothing yet. So nothing has changed to uh, sound wise. It's uh, the drives doesn't pop up. I'll probably have to go and and tell the rate controller to use them, but. I was hoping that they would just pop in, but they do not. Okay, I have had these two discs sitting in here for approximately an hour and the sound level is about the same, so I'm gonna take them out again. And I need to remember to have my SD card and my USB key out of the server again. Plus I wanna try something with the RAM. Okay, so we need this plastic off to, uh, to get to the RAM. Uh, we need to uh, USB key to come out and my SD card also that's not needed in one of the last videos I upgraded this with uh, 144 gigabytes of RAM and this is all 16 gigabyte blocks uh, Hewlett Packard branded SK Hunix RAM I'm gonna try and take all of that RAM out. And we're gonna try and put in some 32 gigabyte uh, Samsung um, but Hewlett Packard branded RAM. I don't think it's gonna run with this because the, uh, the Lenovo server did not. So um, yeah, let's see what happens. If, if anything good comes of this. 
So let's try and power this on. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, if I'm not much mistaken, that's a no-go. Um, yeah, it is beeping at me. And uh, <clears throat> pretty pissed about all the RAM. Yeah, um, I think we failed that one. Okay, we got some of the questions answered on this Hewlett Packard DL360 Generation 6. Um, I had fucked up and didn't realize that this server was set to a well, very power efficient mode and therefore it weren't making any noise whatsoever. It's, it's really not that much more noisy now. It, well, it is a little bit more noisy, but it's, it's not bad. Perfectly okay. I just checked the power measurement over here and sitting here, not even in Windows yet or server 2016. Server 2019 actually, well it uses 120 watts with that one CPU, so um, it's kind of a power hungry server. Newer servers uses less power, but it's not bad, 120 watts. Then we tested if the SD card and the USB key could sit in there at the same time, and they can, and I was able to see both of them in um, in server 2019 no problem whatsoever it even wanted to boot on the esxi i didn't get to film that i was trying to do that but then it booted windows instead these random hard drives that comes out of a couple of laptops put those in didn't make any different whatsoever on the, on the noise that came out of it then we did some ram swapping around here it does not work with 32 gigabyte blocks we, uh, we figured that one out. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to. I tried this in the Lenovo X3650 M2, which is about the same generation as this, and it also did not work in that server. So it's uh, limited to 16 gigabyte blocks. Limited and limited, it's still a lot of RAM. If you are in need of a lot of RAM, well, do visit my Playhouse shop. <laughs> that means that this server Per CPU, it can do 144 gigabytes. So two CPUs, 288 gigabytes of RAM. It's not bad, it really isn't. Um, right now I've only, I just put three blocks back in uh, and I put the eight gigabyte blocks that it came with back in. So I have another 24 gigabytes of memory that um, yeah, I'm not gonna put back in. So I hope I have gotten all the questions answered to this. Again, this is a Hewlett Packard server. It's an older one. It's from back when they actually did servers and not hosts. So this server has a lot of cool features. I hope you also got your curiosity answered. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.